Hi everyone, today we're gonna to talk about the best workout routine for beginners. By the way, this is a brand new series that I'm making here on the channel where I'm creating a beginner's guide to get you in superhero shape. Subscribe to see more of these videos and please let me know below what you wanna see in the future. First of all, let's talk about the importance of exercise. You probably know this by now, that exercise is super important for your physical health and mental health. Everything from maintaining good weight to keeping some muscle muscle mass on so you can move around, do whatever you need to do in life. And it also helps you to get away with eating whatever you want every once in a while. You should also know from the beginning that you cannot out train a bad diet. You cannot spot reduce fat. It is extremely important to have a good workout routine. Just know that it's just like they're saying, abs are made in the kitchen. If you wanna lose body fat, you need to get on top of nutrition. It is that simple. For beginners, it's really important not to go from a zero to hundred right away. Try to find that balance, build up a solid, good foundation. Full body workouts three times per week, cardio with strength training mixed together is an excellent start. Before we jump into the workouts you should be doing every week, if you wanna try one of my programs that I do with my celebrities when I get them in superhero shape, check this out. If you wanna train like Gal Gadot in Wonder Woman 84, Alicia Vikander in Tomb Raider, Alexander Skarsgård in Tarzan, Ben Affleck in Justice League, James McAvoy in Glass, I share all those exact programs on my app. I also have body weight programs, nutrition guides. You can also message me in the app. All right, so I've created a six week, two step plan, not only to give you guys a strong foundation and some quick results, but also to keep you injury free so you can move on and try something more advanced after these six weeks. So the first three weeks of this six week plan. So step one in this six week plan is three weeks where we'll be doing three full body workouts per week. And full body workouts means that you're working through the entire body in one session. So three times, per week, we'll be working through the whole body. After three weeks, we're gonna add one more session per week. So we do four days a week. We're gonna do a two split program when we work out four days a week. Two split means that you work through the whole body in two sessions. We're gonna start with lower body on day one, then we're gonna do upper body on day two, go back to lower body day three, and upper body on day four. The reason we're doing this is that we can target each and every muscle much harder with more load, more rest. Then we allow it to recover while working a different part of the body. This way we work through each and every muscle two times per week, but with more sets and reps. Hopefully after these six weeks, you're ready to take on the next challenge, which is doing one of my programs where I'm asking you to do five days per week. There's so many philosophies and strategies when it comes to building muscle mass and working out. But in general, I would say if you're an athlete or you're working towards something more sports specific, then it's more common to do the same things every time you work out. If your goal is to get in good shape, build muscle mass and strength, then I think a split program works much better. The first three weeks, we're gonna focus on five movement patterns, which is gonna help you to build strength and stability in those movements. It's important that you know how to execute these movements perfectly so we can put more load and more weights, reps in the future, basically more stress on the body without you getting injured. Our five movements that we'll be focusing on are push push, pull, hinge, squat, and an isometric hold for the core. Isometric means that you're not moving, you're just trying to stay in the same position. I recommend starting every session with five to 10 minutes on the treadmill or why not the salt bike? This is a great way of building cardiovascular health, but also prepares you and warms you up for the exercises that you'll be doing. So this is what the program looks like the first three weeks. So our first exercise is a push-up, either a decline push-up on a bench or a flat push-up. Push-ups are a great beginner's exercise since you got the stability of the floor, there's no weights or dumbbells moving around creating instability. If you can't do a flat push-up, do not worry. You can always start on a bench where the load will be much less, where your shoulder will be in a more stable position, or you can even do them on your knees. You wanna make sure to control your neck and your midsection, so when you do the push-up, only thing touching the bench or the ground is your chest. Don't want your face or midsection to touch the ground before your chest does. Our 
second exercise is a dumbbell row on a bench. So what I like about this exercise is that you can control your spine and lower back while focusing on working the lats and the rhomboids. It is extremely important here after you pull the weight up that you try to squeeze your shoulder blades together and this is to activate the rhomboids. There's so many times I see people doing a row exercise without using their rhomboids. It is extremely important that you try to squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top. While doing this exercise, make sure to try to keep your spine in a neutral position. Our third exercise is a diagonal split with a hinge. This is a super important movement that is often neglected when training. So this exercise will prepare you for heavier exercises in the future, like a back squat or let's say a deadlift. Another thing that this exercise will do that will actually help you to pick up shit from the floor without getting injured. Here one again in a diagonal position, it's important that you distribute the weight 50-50 on the back and front leg. Up on your toes, on the back foot, and the whole foot, including the heel, with the front foot. As you start to squat down, you hinge forward at the same time. When hinging forward, make sure to keep a neutral spine. Our fourth exercise is a dumbbell drop squat. So this is a similar movement to the last exercise, but with a little more focus on the legs. What I love about this exercise in particular is by holding the dumbbell in front of you, your core is immediately switched on even before your legs are working. This means that it keeps your back much safer when squatting. The dumbbell also prevents you from going too low since it will hit the floor before you go too deep. So this is the perfect exercise for beginners. Last we have a hollow hold. So this is an isometric exercise which means that you're trying to stay still while engaging the muscle. What I love about this exercise is that it will build both strength and stability while reducing the risk of injury. So in the first four exercises you want to do 12 to 15 reps and on the last one the whole hold aim for 30 seconds. I also want you to do three sets of every exercise. Make sure to do one exercise at a time. Try to avoid a circuit set and the reason for that is I want you to build strength and stability in the quality of the set. When you go from exercise to exercise without resting in between and then going back again you start to compromise on that and it's really about the quality of the set that matters to me. After doing this for three weeks it's time to add one more day to the program. So this is what the four day split looks like. Our first exercise is a dumbbell drop squat, the same as the three first weeks. Our second exercise is a dumbbell split squat with the hinge. You know this from the first three weeks as well. Then we're adding a lunge as our third exercise. Here you want to make sure that when you take a step forward that you plant the heel in the ground and when you push away it's with the heel and not the front of your toes. Try to keep a 90 degree angle in the front leg. Our last exercise exercise is a hollow hold. For day two, which is upper body, we're going to start with a pull down. This is a great vertical exercise that will complement the horizontal row that we have in the program as well. Our second exercise is a single arm dumbbell row. After doing three weeks of an isolated row, now it's time to take the next step and do a single arm row. This one will demand more from you since you need to engage the core and keep the stability. Our third exercise is a dumbbell chest press. This is a progression from the push-up now we don't have that stable floor to help us. This exercise will force you to work on your stability. Our fourth exercise is a lateral race. This one's great for outside shoulders. Make sure that you focus on lifting the dumbbells out. You want your shoulders, elbow and wrist to be parallel with each other when you hit the top. A little hack that I have is that I rotate my pinky finger out towards the end of the movement. This is to get the elbow up high enough so it's parallel with the shoulder. It's just gonna target the outside shoulder even more. Remember, lift out, not up. Our last exercise is a side plank. This is another great isometric exercise that complements the hollow hold. In this one, we're targeting the obliques since we're doing the plank on the side. Day three is the same as day one, and day two is the same as day four. We're still doing 12 to 15 reps on most of the exercises. When doing a single arm dumbbell row, 10 reps on each side is enough. By now, you should be strong enough to do 45 seconds in the hollow hold and try to do 20 seconds on each side 
side in the side plant. So what day should I be doing this program? Well, ideally you want to do them every other day. Let's face it, we all have stuff to do. Life happens. Whether it's work, school, family, you got to get the workouts in when you can. So it's totally fine to do one day in a row up to four days in a row as long as it's followed by rest. So just make sure that don't overthink or overanalyze what days you need to do this program on. Make sure that you get all four in in one week. There you have it, a six week two step plan to get you in the best shape and the safest way possible. After these six weeks, you can continue to do this program or you can take that next step. Hey, who knows? You might even wanna try one of my superhero programs. Please remember, motivation is overrated. No one's gonna be motivated all the time. If you rely on motivation only, that means you're gonna fail as soon as you're not motivated to go to the gym. So make sure to be consistent, show up. That is the key that will get you there. Be kind to yourself. This is a marathon, not a sprint. It's something that should be a part of your life. You don't have to be in awesome shape from day one. We all start somewhere. So be kind to yourself, show up on time, and that will get you there. If you wanna know more about gaining muscle mass or losing weight, check out the other videos in my Beginner's Guide series. I truly hope this video helps some of you out there. If you have any comments, drop them below, and hey, Let's do this.